welcome back to another random adventure in Costa Rica. As we continue here at the Lancaster Botanical Garden, I'm going to provide some commentary in these last two videos. We will be exploring one of my favorite gardens on the Lancaster grounds, the Japanese garden. The Japanese gardens seem more developed and interactive compared to the other gardens. I spent so much time there that in this video we're just going to focus on the main grounds of the garden and in a second video I'll show you my walk through the bamboo. Besides plants, you can see that they also maintained a fish pond. There is also these buildings and simple structures in the garden. It was rather sparse in all the buildings, so I think these might be displays that are in progress of being developed. But the outside grounds were wonderfully maintained, and it was just beautiful and relaxing to walk along the paths. This pond is a central feature of the garden, but before we explore that, I want to show you this waterfall. Now this waterfall isn't as large and as impressive as the waterfalls in my previous videos, but it was wonderfully designed. I really like the design of this pathway, just because you get to walk over the water, it makes it seem a little bit rugged. And this zigzag bridge over this pond was also fun to try. which then leads you to this stone bridge. And then finally we can cross an actual bridge, which leads probably to the smallest island I've ever set foot on. And this is part of the central pond. As we can see here, they have fish that they raise. And for the ones that make it to adulthood, they'll be like this big guy right here. As I turn around to leave the small island over the bridge, I will leave you here until the next time when we walk in the bamboo. Till next time, take care.